It is mid-afternoon, just outside Belfast city centre, and the armoured police Land Rovers edge forward. Confronting them a crowd of more than 100, many draped in the Union flag. Several protesters line up, charge forward and hurl whatever missiles they can get hold of, and the police respond with water cannon. Their tactics questioned at close quarters. You're closing it! You're closing it! You're inflaming it! The police service of Northern Ireland said this afternoon they were investigating reports that a number of shots had been fired at police lines along this road. They'd arrested a 38-year-old man, they said, on suspicion of attempted murder. It began as yet another organised protest in the centre of Belfast. At issue, the decision by the city council last month to limit the number of days the Union flag can be flown over the city hall. In a country where flags are often used to mark territory, to express political power, it was always going to be controversial. I am anywhere. The main demonstration had been peaceful. The violence started as some protesters made their way home, reportedly past a nationalist area of the city. This is the fifth consecutive week of protest now, and scores of police officers have been injured. Nine officers were injured last night, according to the police, again in East Belfast. 30 petrol bombs, they said, had been thrown at officers, as well as fireworks, ball bearings, masonry. Up to 300 people involved, said the police. They arrested 18. Northern Ireland's First Minister, Peter Robinson, described the violence as a disgrace. He said those behind it were playing into the hands of dissident Republicans.